So here we have the urea cycle. This is from QA uh, uh, tab 7. Ammonia on the left there and carbon dioxide on the right come together and generate carbamic acid. And that's what starts the elimination of ammonia. That's what starts the urea cycle. And then we get carbamyl phosphate. Magnesium comes in at that step. Carbamyl phosphate combines with ornithine. <coughs> then under the influence of biotin, carbamyl phosphate and ornithine perform, pr produce citrulline. Citrulline then combines with aspartic acid from the citric acid cycle and the influence again of magnesium to produce arginosuccinic acid. Arginosuccinic acid then gives off a fumaric acid and look what happens here. Arginosuccinic acid gives off a fumaric acid and by a citric acid cycle the fumaric acid goes back around to oxaloacetic acid to come in, have an ammonia group added to it and become aspartic acid. There's this loop here going like this and there's this loop here going like this and this loop is part of a bigger loop of the citric acid cycle. So what we've got is we've got a gear going here, the citric acid cycle, and the gear here going the urea cycle, and there's this intermediary gear here. It's like chemical gears. And so the citric acid cycle drives the urea cycle, and one depends on the other. And so the metabolic pathways are intimately linked, so that if we have a short-circuited citric acid cycle, we don't make enough oxaloacetic acid to make enough aspartic acid to get rid of ammonia through the urea cycle, where we give off urea here, so we have to have the citric acid cycle, this gear, this chemical gear here with the citric acid cycle here, driving this gear here, that drives this gear here, to produce finally arginine, which then under the influence of arginase enzyme becomes urea, and urea dumps off into the urine, carries water with it, and makes our urine by making a hyperosmolytic molytic situation that pulls water into the, into the tubules, and then um, gives off ornithine, which then combines again with carbonyl phosphate, and the cycle goes round and round and round. Arginine here has three ammonia groups on it. Urea has two ammonia groups, ornithine has one. So when it splits, it gives two of them off into the urine. This is how we get rid of ammonia waste. That's our major pathway. And it requires at this step this arginase enzyme, which we'll address a little bit later. This arginase enzyme depends on manganese. So a patient comes in with a back problem, and they've got ligament problems, you see, and so you think, oh, maybe they need manganese, and you pick it up on that, but they might also have problems with their ammonia waste. And when you give them the manganese to fix their ligaments, you accidentally fix their depression, or you accidentally fix their anxiety, or you accidentally fix their something else, their water retention or whatever, because manganese plays this intimate role. Without manganese, we can't get rid of ammonia waste. Manganese is also necessary for the citric acid cycle. At another point earlier on in the citric acid cycle before this, so we've got two roles that manganese plays in getting rid of ammonia waste. One to keep the citric acid cycle going to generate this little inner wheel here, and the other to get rid of the urea from the arginase enzyme. So there's off to the left there from arginine. We'll talk about that part a little bit later, but uh, we, we have these pathways that these different nutrients generate these pathways. And so you see, you don't really have to know these pathways to understand that you can just check the nutrients and to see where they play a role, and you can find out what strengthens the weak muscle and what neutralizes the ammonia. So here we have the, the um, ammonia citric acid cycle. This is oxaloacetic acid, goes off to the urea cycle, comes back down here as fumaric acid, malic acid, oxaloacetic acid. Here's that gear here, and then urea cycles over here. Kind of cool, huh? I always thought it was kind of cool. <laughs> they never taught me that in school. I had to figure that out. Does it get any better than this? <laughs> it doesn't get much better than this. Pizza and root beer is better than this. <laughs> That's about it. 